When conference is coming up, yes. can you give us a teaser kind Ooh. of about what you're going to be sharing <laughs> with us? Well, part of what I'll share um, has actually been shared a little bit on Facebook, but um, back in December, um, uh, Prophet Greg Catalano actually was in our morning prayer time and he got a word and he said, the Lord said that it's time to dance the dance of the Maha Naim. Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what in the world does that mean? Yeah. Um, and I and I knew immediately because I had actually been studying the life of Jacob. And uh, it's when Jacob crosses back into the promised land, um, he comes upon a camp of angels or an army of angels that's waiting there for him as he's recovenanting himself to the land and moving forward with God's destiny and purpose for him. God sent down an, an entire army of angels and he named the name of the place Maha Naim because it means two camps or two armies. One company or one camp uh, of that was Jacob's people, uh, the people on the earth, and a second camp that was an angelic army. And uh, in Song of Solomon 6.13, it actually talks about the dance of the Maha Naim. And so really, how do we cooperate with angel armies in this season of time? Uh, because I think that we're coming into a very, very busy season of angelic activity. Um, a lot of things that God's unfolding in the earth today. Um, and and uh, he hasn't left us here just to do it all by ourselves. He's mm -hmm. raised up the Ecclesia, which I believe is the army on the earth. But there's a second army that's in heaven that God is sending down to work with us and to, to bring breakthrough into our families, into our churches, into our businesses, and even our nations. And I believe uh, the Lord spoke to me at the beginning of January and said, I'm up to something. Mm. So we need to understand. Yeah. Uh, I, I leaned in close like, okay, God, what are you, what are you telling <laughs> yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's what he's going to be really mm. revealing and unfolding during mm -hmm. this Watchman Conference is the, the something mm -hmm. that God is up to. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And I saw Cliff Bell is on with us. Hi, and Cliff, Cliff will actually be one of our uh, panelists during the event. So we're excited to have Cliff from, uh, he helps CI Mexico, help to oversee That's some right. things there and helps really pioneer the prophetic in, in that region. So we're, we're excited to have him with us. And so I think it's important, kind of like what you're saying is, we don't always have all the answers. You know, and, and, and even even in you know one of the things you say is the prophetic is partial. That's right. You know, that's right. We, we know in part, yeah. we prophesy in part. And so God speaks. A, a, he gives us certain portions, and that's certain right. portions we don't fully understand yet. And so, I, and it's in gatherings like this I think greater revelation comes. It's true. It's true. And I think that hearing different prophetic voices mm -hmm. from different camps, from different perspectives, really does give us a kind of a full picture mm -hmm. of how God wants the church to move forward. But I can tell you, in the people that I've been uh, connecting with, I'm telling you, there's a, there's, there's a lot of disruption that's happening mm. in the earth today, but I can also tell you that God is really setting us up for a time of, of victory. And uh, we can all go, yay, victory, <laughs> but we also have to understand that the greatest victories come after the greatest battles. And so I think one of the purposes of Watchmen is letting us be equipped mm -hmm. for the battle that's ahead and letting us understand how we can actually partner with God. Uh, to see his plans and purposes really unfold in the earth. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it, it's, and so for those of you who are watching, feel like, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm a watchman or I'm called to do any of that. <laughs> Would you kind of just share with those people why this is important for right. them to receive also? Well, I think that this, this is probably the key conference uh, for having our eyes opened. Mm, and Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus and he said, I pray that God would give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation mm -hmm. in the knowledge of him. He wasn't just praying for the leaders. He wasn't just praying for the apostles yeah. and the prophets. He was praying for the church at Ephesus because Ephesus was a city really overrun by idolatry and witchcraft and magic and all kinds of dark forces, <laughs> much like we see in our cities today, okay? And he said, listen, this is what you're going to actually need to be my church in the land. You're going to need the spirit of wisdom, and you're going to need the spirit of revelation. And so when we come to Watchmen, it's really not just about gathering information mm -hmm. that other prophets are sure, saying. Sure. It's really about receiving a fresh impartation. And I'm telling you that we've been at this online thing mm -hmm. now for about a year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and I can tell you that people get saved and healed mm -hmm. and set free and delivered delivered and imparted to even though it's online and not an in-person event. Um, I think that one of the, the greatest things about this gathering is the fresh impartation that we gain from the Holy Spirit and that our eyes get opened individually. Now, I'm a prophet and you say, well, you're a prophet, of course, but let me just say, individual lives get touched and changed and individual members of the body of Christ all come into a greater level of prophetic understanding and the wisdom to apply that. And so I can't emphasize enough how important and how strategic mm -hmm. this gathering is this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also a call for all of us. Yeah. 
to, to really come up to a, a new a new place of hearing from God, uh, wherever that is for you personally. So, you know, I feel like God's going to really open eyes during this Amen. time to really see and to, to really step into that. Because I feel like it's it's a time where that prophetic mantle is, is being released in a greater portion on the body of it's Christ. True. Totally. And it, I think that we're going to hear from Todd White that we don't just use the prophetic mantle in the church. We take it outside yes. and we start really, yes. it is a time for harvest. So yes. I think that really seeing that yeah. come to pass, I think is going to be a yeah. very, very powerful. Cliff says, yes, we need to know what God is saying through all the true prophets to war effectively with the prophetic word of the Lord. Yes, Cliff, that's exactly mm -hmm. right. Exactly right. Absolutely. Positions us. And so we, we also have you hosting some panels yes and yes. so tell us about one of the panels you'll be hosting so i'm really excited about one of the panels it's called um i think we we termed it the new normal but mm. i've subtitled it uh prophetic strategies uh to move forward in the new day mm. and i think that that's um uh, where i'm going to be hosting my friends james gall who has been a part of the prophetic movement almost since the beginning. He, he came from a different camp, but he has a phenomenal understanding of what the Lord is doing in and through the prophetic movement and how it really is impacting the church and how we move forward. And then um, my new friend, Patricia King, who I've gotten to know over the last several years, she is just a, an amazing woman. She's got a tremendous prophetic insight and gift, but she just exudes the love of God mm -hmm. and really raising the church up in maturity. And then then we've got a third panelist that's going to be with me, uh, a young lady named Jessie Green. And uh, she actually has been the one that spearheaded the Huntington Beach revival that's been taking place in California. And, uh, you know, I think that revival is what we're all after. An awakening is really what we're after. And so when we're talking about a new way forward, we're not just talking about how to build a bigger church, but we're really talking about how to build a more effective church that can actually usher in revival and awakening that actually changes nations. And so Jesse's actually doing that. And kind of a cool story, I prophesied in Southern California about a revival that was coming. Um, I was in Whittier in July of 2019 and 2020, um, in July, the Huntington Beach revival started, and the LA Times was actually the first one to report on it. Wow! And they they actually used phrases that I prophesied a year wow. before wow. the LA Times. Wow. <laughs> and wow. uh, so Jesse was really super excited to hear wow. that prophetic word, and uh, she's spearheading something that I think is going to impact the church, not just in Huntington Beach, mm -hmm. but really throughout the world. Can so. you, for those who might not be familiar with that revival, just go ahead and just share a little bit about she, that. You know, she just started having worship times and and preaching times down in Huntington Beach, down out on the beach. Of course, we're all in COVID lockdown and especially mm -hmm. California yeah. Yeah. in COVID lockdown. And so they just started gathering on the beaches and uh, hundreds and hundreds of people started getting saved. And then they would just take them straight out into the ocean and baptize them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were having uh, meetings uh, week after week. And uh, uh, it began to spread up the coast and, and different people started doing takeoffs on that. But it really began to impact um, the, the spirit of revival and the lockdown church in California got unlocked and really started stepping awesome. in. And there's places all over the nation that are really experiencing kind of these unprecedented mm -hmm. kinds of revivals that are taking place outside of churches, outside of uh, the ways that we normally would relate mm -hmm. to, to revival. And uh, God's doing a new thing and we want to be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. I see we got Pastor Malik Edwards Hello, online Malik. with us. He'll also be uh, doing worship with us for uh, one of the sessions during Watchmen. Listen, guys, we've put together just an amazing conference. And like Apostle Jane said, just because of sh having to shift online, we've, we've had to make adjustments. But it's actually opened a, us up really to do some new and, and some cool things. So there's a flyer up there Look right now. Look at those faces. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be amazing. We've got some amazing speakers. But we also have some cool breakout rooms. Yes. We've got Miracle Rooms with uh, uh, Brent Pedro and Louis Dickens is going to be ministering. Stringing. We've got worship rooms. Um, we've got times of deliverance with Sharon Park. So there's going to be all these times prophetic of personal, ministry. prophetic yeah. ministry, of yeah. personal ministry to you. So it's not just coming in hearing, but also you're going to receive uh, personal prayer. You're going to receive personal ministry. And so we've crafted this yeah. really to minister to you because we know God's calling the body of Christ to a higher level in this season. And we're going to help you get there. Yeah, <laughs> We're be partnering great. with you to get there. And so this is going to really help shift you guys. Um, so if you guys really feel like you're in a place you're stuck right now and you need a breakthrough you need to be at this event it's going to really have some keys in it that's going to help unlock you and really shift you uh, yeah. into what god has for you over this next season